Hello everyone, welcome back to my SAP channel, SAP Artist. Please do like, share and subscribe the channel for more SAP videos. So today's topic is how to change list year into under list year. So normally I am showing you this process, you know, so that we can avoid creation of multiple TRs. If you want to uh, save an object again into the same tier, you can just come back and run this, use this process and then again save the configuration or any changes into your tier and then again release it. So today I'll be going through the process and we'll be showing example of it in SAP. So this is an overview of the process. So process to change release tier into unreleased tier. First is we need to go to SE38. Then we need to execute the report RDD IT 076. Then give the release TR number and execute. Change the task to unreleased. So you need to change the status from R to D and save. R to D means from release to modifiable. R is for release, D is for modifiable and save. So then again now we'll go to SE01 or SE09. Type the TR number and check. It will be in modifiable state. From release state it has gone back to modifiable state. Now sometimes what happens, example after changing it to modifiable state, we will do the changes and save the object, like save the changes in our TR. And when we try to release, we might get an error while releasing. Okay. So when you get an error, that time we need to select the row. We need to go double click that TR, go into that properties. Okay. And then in the attribute column, you'll get select the row, export timestamp. Select it and delete that row, then save and come back. Then again, you can release the TR. Okay. So now we'll be going to SAP. So first we'll go to SE01. Okay. So this is the TR example, modifiable. These are two TRs, okay, which are created. So you can see now it is in modifiable state, okay two TRs okay parent and child okay so now we will go to SE38 SE38 so now we need to run this program okay RDD IT 076 okay when you execute okay you need to enter the request number so now this is the request number which I need to now wait before doing that I'll just release it okay so now first the, the child now the parent now it has been modifiable now it will change to released see this has been released okay so now we need to enter this since it is released, okay, we need to enter this. Okay, and execute. So now if you see, which I was talking about in the overview, the status R, this means released, okay. So now we need to change it to unreleased. So how do we do that is, we need to double click on this. This is the child one. First, we'll change this, double click on this. Now it is in display mode. You can see everything is grayed out. Okay. Now you need to click on this display change. Now this is in change mode. Status here is there. Right? Status. So you need to just you can check the description. See R is released. So it was released. Now we need to change it to modifiable. Okay. Double click on it. It becomes D. Save. Yes. Change. Again now the parent. Same process. Release it is. Double click on modifiable. Okay. And save. See, the status has changed from R to D. Okay. Now, it's in release. Now we refresh it. Okay. See, again it has shown in modifiable. Okay. So now if you want to do any changes in this you can again do it okay and then release it sometimes which i was talking about sometimes if you get an error 
while releasing after the child and parent. If you just double click on it, okay, go to properties. Okay, here this is the attribute. Over here, you will find that in the end, you know, you need to just check that ex export timestamp and you need to select that, delete it, and let's check if it is there. See. Normally, you need to check in this way if any error is there. Timestamp. I'll try to release again. Let's see if I get any error. So, this is what we had done. Normally, let's re try to release it. If it get released, then it's good. If we get an error, then I'll show you that process also. At least objects no longer locked. So there is no error. Everything is released. Okay. So we didn't get that error. If you get, you need to just go, as I said, double click it. Properties. So now it is uh, released. No? Change. Select. You have to select this. Delete. Save it. Okay. So this is the process. This is a small process. You can do it easily. This is the process of changing the TR from unreleased from release to unreleased, sorry, okay. So normally after changing it, you can just do any configuration, save in this again, and again release it. If you get an error, you can do this. Why I've shown this process is because to avoid multiple tiers, some lot of, some people don't know how to do it. And sometimes they don't know, so they create multiple tiers if they have to do again changes in that particular thing. But you can try this. You can try this as a process if you don't want to create multiple tiers. And you can check from your end also. So, just talking about, yeah, see, change option is here. You need to change here once it is released, okay? So, now the process, I've completed the process. This is the process. We go to SE38 here. I just go to the process. You run this. You give the TR number. Then again, execute it. Then you change the status from R to D. Okay, save and come back. And it will be from uh, release to modifiable again. Okay. So this is how it works. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe for more recipe videos.